Hier ist nichts. Doch. So. Ach nein, ich habe mich, ich bin wieder zurückgeflaucht. Oh nein, was für ein Idiot muss man denn sein? Hm? So, da ging es nicht weiter. Das wissen wir schon. Na, hoch mit dir. So, einmal schön runter und... Ach nein, da waren wir auch schon drin. Ne? So. Hier sind wir noch nicht weiter. Was ist denn hier? Oh. You have the remote controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Ja, ja, ja. Solange ich kein Zeitlimit habe, ist mir alles scheißegal. Hier. Das muss ich sagen, da ist mir alles scheißegal. So. Ich muss aber schon sagen, das sieht schon recht geil aus. Also, das Unterwasserlevel. Und dass wir jetzt Fußspuren machen. Ähm, was passiert denn jetzt, wenn ich was anderes anziehe? Ah, cool. Machen wir keine. Also. Ja, gut. So, jetzt habe ich den Nikita Missile Launcher. Okay. Jetzt kann ich wieder nach oben. Ich sollte vielleicht meine M9 rausholen. In B1. Hier war nichts mehr. Hier war nur eine Chaff Grenade. So. Hier war auch nichts mehr. Hier waren noch 10 Nikita Bullets. Gut. Mist. Na, hopp, hoch mit dir. Wow, das ist vielleicht schlecht. Naja. 
Enemy. Da. What are you doing? What the hell happened? Warum? Raiden. Warum kommt der Präsident da an? Und läuft dann in dieses scheiß Teil rein. Warum macht so ein Präsident sowas? Da. Zack. So, gib mir Nikita. Zack. So. Wow. Das äh, war nicht meine Absicht. Ich muss hier immer so ein bisschen rechts links halten, damit die mir nicht zu schnell wird. What is that? What are you doing? What is that? Ja, ich habe den richtigen Ich habe den richtigen Dings getroffen. Juhu. Oh, man muss mehrere treffen. Äh, ja. Oder? Muss man mehrere treffen? Außerdem steht der. What is that? Get away! Hey! Ne, scheinbar. Gib mir meine M9. Ja, scheinbar ist das der, das Richtige gewesen. Geil! President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit isn't exactly standard military issue. Okay. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Oh my god. Now. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. 
Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. Yeah. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? That's is so commish. No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece, but the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. Das macht langsam alles I thought he resigned. Sinn. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was